We crashed the Waffle House. First we had lunch and then she had dessert. I've been coming here since I was a kid with my dad and um, now we're here, I'm in a wedding dress, we're gonna do a shoot. The point of this video is to show the importance of telling a story to get the most out of your subjects and your imagery. This is done by having a story arc in mind and communicating that with your subject. I'm also going to talk about the importance of lighting a scene like this and why using different lenses makes a big difference as well when you're telling a story. And then we'll show you the recommended way to clean up after a crazy shoot like this. I look right at the camera and you're kind of like, oh, I do not know what to eat. Yes. So what exactly was the story for this shoot? Well, this bride didn't know what she wanted to eat and found herself at the Waffle House. There you go. Oh, Nick, you want lunch? While looking at the menu, she considered all the healthier options she could be eating and then just said, forget it. I want to eat and I love waffles. In this shoot, I used the Rode Light Eos 2 with only the dome diffuser so I could mimic the effect of the natural overhead lighting that you would traditionally see in a diner, while at the same time giving myself better portrait lighting and color than if I just used the in-house lighting. Using different lenses also makes a big difference in storytelling. In this shoot, I used a 35 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and 85 millimeter. The 35 gives me a wide environmental perspective to let the viewer know what the larger scene looks like. The 50 millimeter gives me a normal everyday perspective on how we see things in the world. And the 85 millimeter gets us tighter into our subject and blurs more of the background really helping to capture the emotions of the moment and our subject. <laughs> if you're a photographer and you want to do shoots like these with your clients, you gotta sell them on the story, guys. Make it fun, <laughs> make it unique. We can add some blueberries to that, bro. It'll stick right to you. And continue to let the story build from something like a bride just sitting down to get something to eat to absolutely trashing her entire dress, her hair, everything. Why did I use just the dome and not a larger modifier? Well, we were in the middle of an active cooking slash working environment and there was no room for it. So the dome was perfect. And a traditional flash would have been very disrupting to not just the kitchen staff, but any of the restaurant patrons or anyone else that was there. So using the AOS 2 in continuous mode, honestly, was perfect. We shot this with the AOS 2 and uh, it did an incredible job. Check out the 85 finished images from this shoot in this slideshow, guys. Why do top photographers get paid bigger money? Because they consistently deliver higher quality results. And that's why the AOS 2 is my favorite light. Wow, what did you just do, <laughs> Miss Sophia? I was told to pour syrup and sugar and chocolate all over myself, so that's what I did. Hey friends, it's been a while since I've done the Jason Offers page with Rotolite. A lot of you have asked about these specials and so what I did was reach out to Rotolite and we came up with two programs to really benefit all of you out there. Rotolite and I launched the Trade Up program earlier this week to help people out who are trying to get into the pro level lineup of lights with Rotolite. The Trade Up program is really cool because you're able to trade in your Neo1, Neo2, AOS1, Anova, or even non Rotolite lights for discounts on the pro lights. So if you're looking to add pro lights to your system, that's the way to do it. Enter the promo code Jason Lanier to get free international worldwide shipping. That's pretty awesome. For those of you out there who may be pro users already, or for those who just want to add more roto lights to your system, we've relaunched the Jason Offers page with special discounts that you can't find anywhere else on the internet so you guys can do just that. Now, if you go to rotolight.com slash Jason Offers, when you go to that page, um, it's going to prompt you for a password. And the reason for that is because, well, it's kind of a cool club to be part of. The password is simple, Jason Lanier. That's me. What an incredible shoot. And it just goes to show you, if you get out there and have fun and create and play and think outside the box, you can really do different things when you let your mind go and you're not too worried about, you know, I can't do this, I can't do that, why not? Let's go have fun and create. <laughs> wow.
Wow. I, I <laughs> so this just happened and we're about to uh, hose her off. This is how you clean up when you're all done. She asked me to do this. <laughs> just keeping it real, this was not my idea. Sophia was about to go change in the bathroom when one of the okay, kitchen staff said, like hey, we have a hose out back. Sophia said yes, so she told me to hose her off. What a trooper. <laughs> I actually got a lot of it off. Yeah. Great job. <laughs> one more thing. Sophia really does love the Waffle House. I've never seen a model so happy to do a shoot. In between takes, she was scarfing down the food. She really does love that place. And that's how you do it. This is how you trash your dress. Ready, action. <laughs> like a boss. Yep. You got that right, sister. <laughs>